Interpower Corporation, the premier supplier of power system components with a one-week manufacturing lead time, over 4 million parts in stock, and no minimum order requirements. Let Interpower be your warehouse. Today in Engineering Newswire, we're exploring the ocean in a private submarine, translating vibrations into audio signals, and gaining superhuman strength with the help of robotic exoskeleton. If you are in the market for a new personal submarine for your super yacht, you are in luck because U-Boat Works has just launched the new Super Yacht Sub 3. Capable of diving down to depths of 300 meters with three people aboard, the sub is powered by six thrusters running on a 42 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery system, which takes four to six hours to charge and provides up to 12 hours of runtime. The sub is only 171 centimeters in height and weighs 3,500 kilograms, retaining a fully air conditioned environment at one atmosphere of pressure. According to the company, the defining feature of the Super Yacht Sub 3 is the ingenious freeboard extender. The patent pending system makes sure the deep sea explorers can open the hatch at the surface even when the waves are high. It also includes various safety features in addition to luxury leather seating, including safety buoy, drop weight, and 96 hours of life support. According to the company, the sub meets all the requirements of a discerning super yacht owner. Forget facial recognition software. Have you ever tried to read lips? Now imagine figuring out the words coming from my mouth as I talk into a bag. Because you can very well. Researchers at MIT, Microsoft, and Adobe have created an algorithm that can analyze tiny vibrations of objects in a video and translate the vibrations into an audio signal. The technique passes successful frames of video through a battery of image filters, which are used to measure fluctuations, like changing color values at boundaries, at several different orientations and scales. The algorithm combines the output of the filters to infer the motions of an object as a whole when it's struck by sound waves. It aligns all the measurements so that they won't cancel each other out, and it gives greater weight to measurements made at clear boundaries between different color values. It's impressive, but there's a catch. The vibrations that the software reads are so subtle that they usually can't be seen by the human eye. Restructuring audio from video requires that the frames per second of video be higher than the frequency of the audio signal. Simply put, most good video cameras capture 60 to 120 frames per second. The researchers used cameras that capture 2,000 to 6,000 frames per second. Though the team did have some success with slower capture rates, the audio reconstruction wasn't as faithful as the higher speed cameras. This sound extrapolation process could prove useful in many situations where audio just isn't available, but the system could also lead to advances in material identification via video analysis. One of the largest shipbuilders in the world is about to have the strongest staff in the world. Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering is participating in a pilot program outfitting employees with robot exoskeletons to help them do their jobs with superhuman strength. According to new scientists, the Robo Shipbuilder prototype suit is made from carbon, aluminum alloy, and steel, and weighs only 28 kilograms. Currently, the suit has a three-hour battery life and allows users to lift objects weighing up to 30 kilograms. The goal is to reach a lifting capacity of around 100 kilograms. To wear the suit, the users strap their feet onto pads at the base of the robot, padded straps at the thighs, waist, and chest secure the user, and a system of hydraulic joints and electronic motors control the entire ensemble. The exoskeletons can also be customized for specific tasks. And while the prototype still has some issues to overcome, it is a promising advancement for industries already using robots for a majority of their work. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Chris Fox, and this has been your Engineering Newswire. Hello.